Welcome to Prognosis EMR. This video will walk you through the 2015 edition Cures Update Certified Dashboard Population Health which is now being used in Prognosis for eCQM reporting. From the year 2022 onwards, the 2015 edition Cures Update Certified Dashboard Population Health is integrated with Prognosis EMR according to Cures criteria to report clinical quality measures that are to be used to electronically report clinical quality measure data for CMS quality payment programs for the year 2022. In this video, we will provide information on the changes made in prognosis after the integration of population health with prognosis EMR. On a successful login to prognosis, a mandatory survey pop-up is displayed for providers. If a provider wishes to sign up for eCQM services provided by Population Health, it is necessary to check the eCQM Individual Reporting checkbox or eCQM Group Reporting checkbox or both checkboxes from this pop-up and click on the Submit button. In case this was missed during the survey, they can send an email to Prognosis Support Team or log a case for it and the Population Health service will be enabled for their clinic. The provider as well as the clinic will now be registered with Population Health and will be able to use their services. After successful registration, a Population Health icon appears on the Prognosis homepage. Note that when another provider from the same clinic checks the required checkboxes from the survey pop-up, then the provider is directly registered with Population Health as the clinic was already registered earlier by the actions taken by the previous provider. If a provider checks the Not Participating in CMS EHR Incentive Programs checkbox on the survey pop-up, then they are not registered with Population Health. If they would like to use the Population Health services in the future, they must contact Prognosis Support Team at support at in order to be registered. Compliance status and eCQM measures data and progress for the year 2022 and onwards is now accessible via the Population Health portal that can be invoked by clicking on the new Population Health icon added on the Prognosis homepage. Before we move on to the working of the Population Health portal, let's first look at the changes made on QPP PI MU settings screen in Prognosis. A provider can select eCQM measures for reporting from the eCQM tab in the Quality Measures section on the QPP PI MU settings pop-up. For the year 2022 onwards, eCQM measures are no longer displayed in this eCQM tab. On selecting a provider and clicking on the eCQM tab, a pop-up message is displayed. Clicking on the Click Here link would take you to a detailed quick user guide which explains how to select eCQM measures on Population Health Portal. On clicking the OK button, the measures displayed in the eCQM tab gets grayed out and cannot be selected. Some changes are also made on Assessment screen in Prognosis. Earlier, Compliance Status eCQM data and progress for a patient's encounter was displayed on the eCQM compliance status pop-up, invoked on clicking the eCQM button on the assessment screen. Now, this eCQM button on the assessment screen has been made obsolete. On clicking the eCQM button, the screen gets greyed out and a pop-up message is displayed. Clicking on the link here, would take you to a detailed quick user guide which explains how to view eCQM measures data and progress details on Population Health Portal. Now, let's look at the new Population Health icon on the Prognosis homepage which will now display all eCQM measures data, progress and reports on their portal. On clicking this icon, the AC Population Health pop-up is invoked in a new window. Population Health processes the patient encounter data received from Prognosis. It captures, exports, calculates and reports the measure data from their end and displays the progress on this AC Population Health pop-up. A provider can then review this data and progress of chosen measures and generate reports from this pop-up. The Patient View tab is your default landing page or main page of Population Health. 
this screen displays a patient list for your practice. This report displays the patient name, medical record number, date of birth and gender of the patient. This list of patients can be further filtered down by clicking on the available filters. Add the data you wish to apply in the appropriate fields and wait for the system to display the updated results. You can see more patient details by clicking on the patient name. This will open a more detailed patient view. By default, you will land on the CCD view page. The CCD view lets you see certain data that was imported from the patient's encounter in prognosis. From here, you can see if certain clinical assessments were done, test results that were imported as well as other information. You can view the quality measures by clicking on the quality measures tab on the left. This will show all the CQMs that the patient is eligible for. Please note that the CQMs shown here are the ones for which denominator criteria is met, that is, denominator value is yes. Those measures for which the denominator criteria is not met, that is, the denominator value is no, are not displayed in this tab. To close this pop-up, click on the close button on the bottom right of the screen. Here's how to select eCQM measures for reporting from population health. eCQMs can be selected from the preferences screen on this AC population health pop-up. To get to the preferences screen, click on the settings icon on the upper right corner of the screen. This will open a drop-down menu. Select the preferences option. The quality measures section present on the left hand side of the preferences screen allows you to select which CQMs you report on in the quality management section of population health. Scroll down the list and select the measures you want to report on. You can select all by clicking the option at the top. Please keep in mind that the more measures you select, the more time your reports will take to run. You can also assign goals for each measure. Once done, click Save. Note that only those measures which are selected from this preferences screen are displayed in the Quality Measures tab which we saw earlier. The Population Health System retains the preferences set individually by providers on the preferences screen. Suppose there are two providers from the same clinic using Population Health for eCQM reporting. The providers can select the measures according to their preference by navigating to this preferences screen. The population health system saves the selection of measures done by each provider on this preferences screen. That is, the measures selected by a provider remain selected for the same provider when they log in next time. Let's have a look at the quality management section of population health portal. The eCQM report section allows you to review the measures you have chosen as well as your population for that measure. You can also create QRDA1 or QRDA category 3 files for reporting. The first thing you need to do for quality reports is set up the preferences. Click the settings icon on the upper right corner of the screen and select preferences. In the preferences section, click on the quality measures tab on the left. Now, check the checkboxes next to the measures you want to report on and set goals for the measures if required. Click Save when done. After your measures are set, you can come back to the eCQM reports section. The system will automatically update your numbers for the current year. On this screen, you will see measures chosen at the bottom of the screen with filtering options at the top. By default, the report will run for the entire year for the practice. You can change any of the filtering options by clicking on the field and selecting the appropriate information. Once the filters are selected, click Run. The results of the report will show below. You can see the description of the measures on the left and the data for the measures on the right. You can see a progress bar, percentages for that measure, initial patient population, the denominator, exclusions and exceptions, the numerator and the outliers. 
You can click on the hyperlinks for each number to look up the specific patients that make up that number. Just click on a number to see cross section. You can filter it to any other cross section at the top of the page. You can also export a QRDA1 file, patient summary or patient list just by clicking the buttons at the top right. You can click on the question mark icon next to the measure number to view measure details for that specific CQM. To go back to the report, click the measure summary link at the top of the screen. On the main screen, you can export a QRDA Category 3 report for attestations for various government programs. You can export the file as a whole group or by individual. Please note that the submission window is not enabled and will be enabled after the reporting period is over. Until then, the user can view the progress from preview dashboard. For submission of PI and IA categories data from this dashboard, we will get back to you once the submission window is open. Resubmission is not allowed through the application. In case any data needs resubmission, QPP JSON will need to be downloaded and then uploaded on the QPP site manually. If you have any questions or need more help, please reach out to the Prognosis Support Team at support at bismaticsinc.com. Thank you for watching the video.